Welcome Michael Kasuto of Denso to a brief video demonstration of the Japan Unix desktop soldering system sold and serviced by Fancourt Industries. Um, Mike will take a quick uh, a brief overview of all the major components and a couple of uh, options, uh, accessories on the robot and then we'll take a brief pause and watch it solder uh, a couple of your assemblies. So uh, we'll go right into uh, looking at the major components. We're starting with our base robot with the X table uh, it moves front and uh, rear direction forward and back uh, with a temporary fixture and two of your assemblies um, the next major component we have up above that is our soldering Y axis uh, head which takes care of the Y left to right movement our Z axis, up and down movement, and rotational axis. Um, below the head, you see we have uh, our actual soldering head, which is our iron and graduated angle setter, um, our nitrogen cap and uh, needle, which delivers the solder to the uh, tip. These are also uh, very good for a quick change out on the tip. If you need to, you can remove the entire heater block with a different tip, and the change out is uh, less than 30 seconds. Um, up above here to the left of our soldering head, we have our solder feeder, which uh, delivers the solder at the speed and amount that we uh, program through the uh, teach pendant. Spool of solder held on the top fed through a, a tube which is available in different sizes depending on diameter of your solder and then it's delivered to a, a needle which is also uh, delivered through a needle rather to the tip which is also available in different sizes. Um, while we're in this area of the X table and, and the robot head we can look just below the robot head and see our standard equipment blow off uh, slash vacuum um, device which we can program the uh, robot tip to come down into this slot uh, at any time we want in the program as many times as we want and blow off excess solder it is then vacuumed away through a corrugated hose and um, deposited in a little vacuum receptacle up here now just to the right of this little vacuum receptacle we have our solder controller which turns on our uh, heater on and off manual feeds for the solder feed uh, stop and clear errors also shows us if we have a solder run out uh, error by these indicator lights or if we had a solder jam problem um, and all of the all of the programming information um, as far as the solder condition is stored there also um, right next to that we have a freestanding nitrogen generator which takes 80 psi shop air, converts it to nitrogen, it is then fed out of the nitrogen generator and uh, into the soldering tip where, the, where there is a, uh, a nipple on the cap which can blow nitrogen around the tip. Very useful for lead free soldering, more essential than uh, useful. Um, Lead free soldering can be very difficult to work with without nitrogen. Um, that's the most of the major components. Now we have a few other components that we'll go over. Uh, to our right here of our robot, we have uh, a couple of extras uh, options. One is a uh, brush cleaner. We can program the iron to run over and dip down into the rotating brushes to clean it. Um, Next to that, we also have an XYZ position correction mechanism, which will um, automatically adjust in the event of a crash or a tip change out, a slight difference. On very critical applications, very nice. It will uh, recheck original position and automatically correct. A couple other options that we also offer for the robot is the nitrogen preheater, which can preheat the nitrogen to give you a preheating effect on your part, and also solder wire preheater, which can preheat the solder wire to avoid uh, uh, thermal shock to the solder which could result in solder balls and splattering. 
Uh, finally, uh, last but not least, we have our remote start switch and uh, emergency stop button. And next to that, we have our teaching pendant, which all of our program XYZ rotational um, position data is entered and saved here. All of our soldering condition data, uh, speed and feed amounts uh, of the solder are stored here. And we also set our temperature for our soldering iron, all done through the teach pendant. Um, I think we've pretty much covered all the basics and most of the options. So uh, we, I believe we'll take a brief pause here. Uh, one other option that I failed to point out, I'm sorry, is we offer also a little closed circuit camera, uh, S-Video uh, camera, and uh, that is also displayed uh, on a 17-inch monitor. And uh, when we're soldering your parts, we may uh, do one live on the part and then do another on the uh, actual monitor. Uh, that, that pretty much concludes all the uh, components, and thank you. Hi, Bernardino. Um, Phil at Fancord here. Just uh, as, as I'm speaking, you're looking at uh, one of your assemblies in a temporary fixture that we put together here. Uh, and before we actually watch it solder, which we will be watching it solder on a... Uh, a 17 inch uh, screen because uh, it will be very difficult to see on the fixture. But before we get to that part, uh, I wanted to mention that it was very difficult to get the wires through the PCB. Uh, strands are going everywhere. Uh, trying to strip the wire back, uh, obviously uh, without a machine, uh, very difficult to get uniform amount stripping back. I recommend that you tin the wire before we uh, solder it, only to make it easier to insert the wires into the PCB. Uh, but uh, fixturing is definitely uh, crucial to making this application work. Uh, as far as the soldering goes, it solders fine. It's just a question of fixturing. So um, we will take a brief pause and then we'll actually watch it solder your parts. Thank you. Okay, Bernardino, we're going to uh, watch it uh, run. And well, actually, our cameraman will be on our 17 inch monitor. To, uh, because we'll never be able to see what's going on here. Okay, here it goes. Okay, you noticed, uh, I did anyway, that we melted back insulation on the underside of the board, so they, that's something we have to play with a little bit. Obviously, there's too much dwell and too much heat there, so we would reduce our dwell time or our temperature to uh, minimize that uh, um, melt back of the um, uh, insulation on the wires. All right, that's, that's the, uh, that concludes the video. Thank you very much.